Hey everybody, I'm on the job site today of an interior mill pack. Uh, mill pack is all the doors, windows, uh, trim inside of a home that we're painting, prep, uh, prepping and painting. And I'm going to show you guys today the, the cleaning tools that I use for both cleaning floors uh, and my mill work as we go through the stages of mill work. There's a lot of cleaning to do at certain steps. And each step has a particular level of cleaning that we need to do. The beginning prep work doesn't have to be uh, as, as clean as, like, say, the, the spray out on the primer or the final coats. Um, so these doors and all the trim have a factory uh, MDF primer on them that all get sanded down. We use the machine orbital sanders. Um, I'm using Fest tools at the moment, uh, hooked up to the CT MIDI, is a dust extractor, and that controls a lot of dust on the job site. And we, we sand all the, the windows, baseboard, uh, and the doors uh, after we put the filler on. So we sand the filler and the primer down at the same time. And that uh, the Fest tool vacuum really controls a lot of dust, but we still have to sweep floors and vacuum off the surface of all our trim before we, say, do any more prep work or we do our caulking, or we were to spray the job. Um, so this is a vacuum that I picked up a couple years ago. Um, it, it works really, really great. I actually picked it up on Black Friday special. It was actually $40 plus tax. It's a $100 vacuum. This is a shop vac. Um, it comes with the smaller uh, inch and a quarter hose. It's about seven feet long, but I, I also have these two and a half inch hoses that come off my Craftsman vacuum cleaner. I've got two of these. Uh, larger hoses so I can get uh, quite a bit of length if I need it on the job. So I have one, one uh, eight foot hose and a seven foot hose so I get about 16 feet, 15, 16 feet of, uh, of uh, length on this and which makes it really nice uh, for going across the room, for going down hallways, for going into closets. I have a closet right here. Um, I can keep the vacuum cleaner outside in the main room or outside in the hallway and go into a smaller space and vacuum away without dragging this thing through the door jams. Um, so a couple good, really good uh, things about this vacuum. It's, it's nothing super fancy, um, but I, uh, I picked up a, a, a muffler for this at Sears. It's a Craftsman muff, muffler. It fits on the shop vac uh, models, and it's like a two and a half inch uh, adapter fitting there. So this is an air diffuser and muffler. So it diffuses the air that's gonna be shooting out of here and it's going to be a muffler which uh, reduces the noise by almost 20% and makes a big difference on this vacuum. It's got a 18 foot long extension cord that lets me go around hallways and uh, work on most of them without hooking it up to uh, extension cords. Um, for the inside of it, it has a standard pleated filter and I use a high efficiency one, but the big bonus with this vacuum is I really highly recommend, especially for professional painters, is using a air, air filtering dust bag. It's going to collect all the dust that this thing takes in. Your canister stays absolutely clean. You'll never have to dump it out again. Uh, it's actually shiny in the bottom of there after years of use. And this, this is a high efficiency for a little finer, for finer uh, particles. Um, it costs a, a couple dollars more for the high efficiency bags that buy these. These probably come in a two pack for $15. The standard use uh, white bags, they, they're about uh, a two or three pack for about $12. So they're, they, they're really worth the money. This bag here will last me probably three months worth of use. Um, if I'm sanding, actually hooking up a sander to this vacuum, it would last a month solid. Um, and for light duty use, these bags can last me six months or longer if I don't use the vacuum very much. And because I have a bag in there, the canister stays clean. This filter almost never gets dirty on me. Um, I've been using this vacuum for a couple months now. You can see, there's, well, there's a little dust comes off of it. It's not clogged like like uh, most people have to go out and clean this filter every day, uh, a couple times a day if they're cleaning a lot. I never have to clean this out. Probably could go probably a year without cleaning it out. And at that point I might vacuum it out or I could just throw it away. Um, so those, those bags I just pull them out, throw them away and pop a new one in. And I don't have to drag this whole unit outside and dump it out in someone's driveway. And even in the garbage bag, I don't need to dump it and make a big dust cloud and clean the filter. So that saves a lot of effort. 
And uh, so when we have all our, our sanded surfaces, we create a lot of dust with our prepping. So we've got a lot of, do a lot of cleaning. And a slow, a, a slow uh, vacuum doesn't actually work too much. We've got to be able to move fast. So I, I hook my, my uh, dust brushes onto my one, one section of the tab of, of extension. And I dust the surface pretty rigorously to scrub the, the surface dust off. This thing get, does pretty well getting in the corners, but I also put a dust brush in my back pocket to, to aid in some of these uh, corner areas, and especially when we're doing windows, there's a lot of tight areas. We're, back, we're dusting it down uh, before we fill, before we do our caulking, and before any priming or painting. So we always keep a dust brush in our back pocket. Now this attachment here was a, a smaller attachment that I had kind of off a home vacuum cleaner. And I took extra bristles and I wrapped extra bristles around it to really beef it up. And those extra bristles come off a brush like this. This is just a shop vac uh, brush, it's a two and a half inch attachment. That is about eight bucks at the store. So it's really, it's really, really handy. These are these are great brushes as well to vacuum your surfaces off with because the plastic is so thin set that it won't dent, it won't dent or scratch your wood. But I have taken these apart. I pulled these bristles right off of here. And put them on to other attachments. Put them on other attachments and it has twice the bristles and it's more beefy for getting into corners and backing whole surfaces at a time. So this is one of the attachments I use. I'm using a lot lately. Another one that I, I kind of made myself is one of these. We call them, I call them 90 degree attachments. You can buy them at, at Sears or, or Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, I just went ahead and I, I, cut, I cut my plastic tube back inside here and I slapped this on and I just taped it. It has a little bit of flex when I tape it right. And this is uh, quite fast for getting all these type of angles down low against the baseboard and the floor at the same time. Works wonders for you know twisting your wrist on the top of baseboards, floors, and backing things away from the baseboard with it. It's quite fast. Uh, before we, when we approach a job, uh, hardwood floor, and we want to leave floor paper, I would uh, use my push broom, and use my push broom on any large floor surfaces when it comes to the, the first step of cleaning the floor before I spray or before I uh, do a, do a prep, prep job and I need to clean the floor. This here I have, I have on the job pretty much for backup, I'm not really using this, it's kind of nice to use in the past. Uh, it works pretty good. You gotta you gotta tilt it forward and back sometimes if you're trying to get everything, or you can just use it as a push broom. But it's pretty much a spare. I have this one back up. Uh, the other floor attachment that I use is the shop vac uh, floor attachment. It has some bristles on it, and uh, I usually stick three extensions on there. So they're kind of tall, and I like to be able to reach far out. So I'll be able to. Use Back in the floor like this, with the vacuum cleaner going, of course, and it saves me a lot of time. And so, those are some basic vacuuming tools. Got to have a dust brush and everything that makes the job move better. Um, so, thanks for watching, and have a great day.